All right, 360 real quick. Take off the hat real quick. I gotta peep the hairline. Natives, it's really hard for us to lose hair. 100%. So that one is, is, is a red flag. Not Native American. Hello. 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 What's your name? Skip. My name is Stacy. Why you squeeze to aqua spoos? Hi, my name is Warmheart. My government name is Jocelyn. Did you grow up in a native culture? Absolutely. I'm representative of Nez Perce tribe. Most of my family is from the reservation in um, Oklahoma, the Cherokee Nation tribe. I used to go to Oklahoma every summer just to be with my family. I'm um, a citizen of the Colville tribe. Do you know what you're doing today? Yeah, I'm guessing who's native and who's not, so we'll really see if I'm good at it. <laughs> Do people ever assume that you're native? No. A lot of people assume that I'm just like black, but I'm a mixture of a whole bunch of things. What do people assume about you? I've got in Mexican, Asian. Islander, you're Blasian, you're Blexican, never native. How are you gonna guess today? You know, I'm gonna ask some questions. I made you take off your hat. You know, you gotta see the hair too. You know, you gotta see the follicles. Coke or Pepsi. What do you mean Coke and Pepsi? It's important, like, are you a Coke or are you a Pepsi native? You know, you can be a Coke native, that's fine. But me and mine, we're Pepsi natives. <laughs> All right, let's bring the line in. Come on. Mm -hmm. I low-key already can tell, but we'll wait. Mm. Give me the person you think is most likely Native American. Her at the end, him right next to her. You. <laughs> and you, you two. You got the shortcut. That's giving me a little bit of tomahawk. Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right, visual read. What do you think? Let's see. Let's get to 360. The tats in the head, I love that. Any like uh, meaning towards those? I like bats. Okay. <laughs> Can you take off your glasses for me? Sure. Your eyes, like they show power basically. And to me it just gives like you're Native American. How you feel about the show Res Dogs? It's a great show. Great show? Yeah. I like how they use all indigenous actors. Or for sure. I love how you didn't did. use the word Indian. <laughs> How many siblings do you have? I have five siblings. Yeah, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> I have seven. <laughs> I, but I also know a lot of like other cultures that have big families, so I can't just be like, oh, you got a big family, must be native. <laughs> you definitely have a native tone when you speak. You know, it's, it's a little dialect that we have, you know? I'll give you native. You're native. I think you are because your eyes just screams Native American to me, so. Okay. All right, thank you. Hi, your outfit, it's giving, um, I love the outdoors. Um. <laughs> All right, 360 real quick, take off the hat real quick. I gotta peep the hairline. Natives, it's really hard for us to lose hair. 100%. Shaving our head is like a choice. So that one is, is, is a red flag. He has a lot of Native American features, like the eyes, the, the jaw, and also his ears, too. I'm gonna say, yeah, you are Native American. How do you feel about powwows? Have you been? I have been. I think that I want to know more. Not Native American, but big ally vibes. You shouldn't have questions about powwows. You should be loving powwows. <laughs> powwows are the things that differentiate us from other ethnic groups because we all come together, Salish, Plains, everybody comes together for powwows. Not native. Why is that? Honestly, you were a little like coming next to me and usually I feel like anytime I have an interaction with another native person, like, hey. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Shoes with the skirt, big res girl vibes. <laughs> Gorgeous hair. Thanks. You're definitely something. <laughs> I sound like all my, all the people are like, what are you? <laughs> you do have Native American features too. Like what kind of features would you say are Native on um, me? Probably the cheekbones, that's the only thing. The cheekbones, yay. Mm -hmm. Coke or Pepsi? Oh, I don't drink soft drinks. Okay, see right there. <laughs> like all Natives have an answer to eat at least Coke or Pepsi. Like, oh, I don't drink soft drinks anymore, but <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> How do you feel about powwows? I have never been. Never been so. to a powwow. How do you feel about fry bread? I've never had fry bread. Ooh, this is ringing. Ears are ringing. <laughs> not native. Yeah, not native. Not having fry bread and not being at a powwow, that is crazy talk. 
Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You have beaded earrings on. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I know that they sell them in Target and things like that now, but I feel like not a lot of people are gravitated to them. I did not get them from I, Target. I know, I can tell. <laughs> Let's see. Baby hairs there. <laughs> People always talk about the baby hairs. You know, it's a, it's a common thing. Black people, of course, you know, <laughs> put it out of proportion because the Cherokee and stuff like that. They'd be like, check the baby hairs. You know, that's that Cherokee. <laughs> Just having that hair and embracing that hair and stuff like that. When you go to visit family, where do you go? All my family's in Seattle. A lot of Native Americans are from like Oklahoma, New Mexico, Montana. So what are your thoughts on powwows? I love powwows, but I don't go to enough. I believe you're Native. Why do you think I'm Native? Because I have a lot of gorgeous Afro-Indigenous friends, and based off of, yeah, just your body language, how you came in, eye contact. Big Native. <laughs> For you to say the line of, I love powwows, but I just don't go to enough, that's me all summer, like, yeah. Hello. Hello. You have the same cheekbones as my uncle, and the same eyebrows as my brother. Have you ever been hunting? No. My dad was supposed to take me when I was younger, but he got too old. Okay. That's a real just Native American, you know, experience of honoring that. Catch something, bless it, eat it, get that nourishment. What sports did you play growing up? Uh, baseball for like a year when I was eight. Mm. Cause like a lot of Native Americans play basketball, football, and baseball too. Have you ever been canoeing? No. All right, yeah, no, not naive. How do you feel about Spam? I love Spam. Yeah, breakfast, lunch, dinner kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah native. Do you have any um, out-of-state family? Uh, yeah, in Mexico. Mexico. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's Native American. He threw Mexico in there, so I'm thinking you could just be Mexican. Thank you, Ruben. She looks like my cousin. <laughs> Based off of your forehead and your cheekbones and your eyes. Where's your family from? I have family that live out of state, but I also have family that lives out of country, too. Mm. Do you like wearing stone jewelry, like turquoise, teal? I don't have any. You don't have any? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you a Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Pepsi. And see, <laughs> Pepsi! Pepsi. That, like, changes it all. I'm going to say yes, she is, because of her cheekbones, her eyes, and her overall facial structure. I'm going to go with non-native. That's only strictly because most native women love the teal turquoise jewelry. You at least get it from your grandma, your mom. I'm going native, but also you're mixed with something else because my cousin's Filipino and native. Oh. All right. Thank you. <laughs> How many do you think you got correct? I hope it's all. <laughs> I hope I hit a hundred. hunter for a hunter. At least half. I'll be honest, this is a lot harder than I thought. I came in really cocky being like, I can do this. I can clock anyone. Show of hands, who was guessed correctly? There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Four out of six? I mean, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty decent. That's pretty good. All right, they're gonna come up one at a time and chat with you. Hello. So, so I got you right. You did, you okay. guessed correctly. I am native. So what tribe? Shumash. Shumash? Okay. Yeah, California. Yeah. I uh, didn't grow up with my native parents, mm -hmm. but I did know them after I was 17. So how did that come about? Well, I was uh, raised with my parents till I was about two. Mm -hmm. Child Protective Services came in and said it wasn't safe, but uh, my parents that adopted me were pretty cool, and we hired an investigator, found my parents. That's amazing. So I got to meet my siblings. That gives me chills. Yeah. I love that. My mom was a teenage pregnancy, yeah. and I was adopted by my European father. Yeah. Um, so I grew up very um, involved, yeah, with the European side of the family, so. Do a lot of people recognize you as being a Native American? I get confused for Mexican or Asian sometimes. Mm. Are you Native? I am. Okay. What tribe are you? Cherokee Indian. Cherokee, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Do people think you're Native? No. Yeah. <laughs> but like if you were to see my grandparents, like my grandmothers and my great grandmother, you would be like, okay, yeah. Is it is it your voice that people recognize as native or um, your dialect? No, not not usually. In fact my my biological brother and he told me that I sounded whitewashed. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so he must have been super res. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
Because, I mean, I'm not whitewashing. I can hear the dialect. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I get it all the time. And no, so. I'm just, you know, that's my bad. But okay. I would love to know um, your tribe and, you know, just more about you. Yeah, uh, my family's Haida, mm -hmm. so Alaska native. Yeah. Far north, you know, you close to the, you close to the Russians. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's the hair. It's Not the hair. Getting clocked again for being bald. Um, <laughs> no, you weren't like totally off though. I was raised by a, a white woman, and I didn't know that my family was Native American. It's at far all down the line, like I'm saying. Huh? Well, my grandpa lives on the reservation okay. in Alaska, yep. so it's not too right. far. Exactly. I am relatively new to all of the traditions, so I don't think I have like that like air about me. Seattle. No powwows and no fry bread is crazy. That's insane. It was, yeah, and then my dad got married at a powwow. That's um, fine. <laughs> yeah. Imagine not going to a powwow, then your pops get married at one. Literally, <laughs> and we were like dressed up and everything, and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, but I was like walking around, got fry bread, that mm -hmm. was really good, but like people were asking like, what's your family name? And like, mm -hmm. I couldn't answer them. Yeah. Um, so I've done some research on my own now, and I'm, that's why I said I'm more interested in like learning more about them. Yeah. I was talking with my sister last night about how we just have this like weird feeling of like wanting to respect that part of us that is Native American, but then also knowing that we were both raised by white women. It's very complicated. And no, I don't know how I, to feel no, about no, no, it. No, I get it. I just want you to know like respecting and understanding like that you have privilege is all you can do, but you are indigenous and like practicing your culture and like to make me emotional, but you are valid yeah. in that and knowing yeah. that. You deserve to have those spaces as anybody in their culture deserves to have those. So congratulations on getting to reconnect as we all are. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> that was so sweet. Hello again. Hey. So uh, I'm not native. No. Wait, did I guess that she was? Yeah. Okay. Wait, do you take it back now? I mean, yeah, because I was on the edge of yeah. saying you were Latina. Was I right about that? Or was I no. wrong? No. Oh. No, I'm half Japanese, half Persian. Ooh, dang. But, that had to be love because you just don't even hear that combination. No, not wow. really. But my dad is from Okinawa, which is like the southernmost like islands, and it's um, uh -huh. it's kind of like the Hawaii of Japan. We're different <laughs> from mainland, and we have our own language, our mm -hmm. culture, but it's kind of being destroyed. I think I resonate a lot with so. like Native American populations Absolutely. and indigenous peoples. I'm really grateful for living in the U.S. now and seeing like Native people being so like powerful in their message. Because yes. I think in Okinawa, like the younger generation, I think we're kind of struggling to have that pride in our culture yeah. and like to keep it going. No, I resonate with the younger generations thing because as a kid I definitely didn't pride myself in my culture. You know, I feel like I don't see that anymore in these younger generations. I see yeah. these younger generations being very proud to be indigenous. I'm excited yeah. for you and That's I think awesome. that those generations will change and as it did for us. Yeah. You are wrong. Mm. <laughs> I am native. What tribe are you? I'm Clinket, also Alaskan native. Yes, we love our Alaskan <laughs> native bodies. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in a native family. My mm -hmm. mom lived on a reservation. Mm -hmm. My grandmother grew up on the reservation back in Janu. Do people recognize you as native? Only if they like see like I'm wearing like beaded earrings. Exactly. Like, tattoos. So of course people think I'm black, which I am, but I'm, Same. I'm mixed. Okay, you're black? I'm half black. Ah! People don't be guessing that. Right. <laughs> the reason why I don't visit family is we have a few family members in Alaska, but I don't really like Alaska. <laughs> Why it's cold? It's cold. I lived there when I was younger. Like there's a picture of me like this deep in snow when I was like one years old. And so I was like, I don't like that. Mm, so you don't like do any of the traditions or anything? Oh yeah, I have always done traditions and powwows and when my grandmother died, um, her family and friends came from Janu to Seattle and did like a uh, chants and they did native dance, native drumming. So I've always been exposed, mm -hmm. but I didn't get my rich like culture until like I was an adult. I can relate to that because I didn't like get my culture until like when I was like 17, 18. Once I started like really getting to know who I was mm -hmm. and like really researching and understanding my culture, uh -huh. I was like, yeah, yeah okay. I'm native. That's right. <laughs> All right, awesome, thank you. Thanks nice meeting you. You too. Okay, I'm very curious. Do tell. I'm Hispanic. Okay, okay. What are you? Mexican. Okay, I mean obviously that's indigenous. My mom is partially Mayan. See? Technically, Mexico is California, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona. 
they are indigenous. Do people mistake you for Native American? Oh, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. They say it's my hair or my cheekbones, my eyes. What about your pops? The same? Uh, nah, he was born in Washington. Okay. People are Mexican and Native, but he's still indigenous, for sure. For sure. Yeah. You were the one I was like 100% positive Native oh, American. Oh, mm -hmm. that's really interesting because mm -hmm. growing up, like, I never got clocked as Native American. Mm -hmm. It was always like, oh, you look Latino or you're Filipina. So I'm a Cinnaboyne from okay. Fort Peck, which is in Montana. Yeah, okay. Uh, my clans are Canoe Paddler and Red Bottom. Mm -hmm. That's on my mom's side. And my dad's side, he's Vietnamese. And so they, my grandparents immigrated here. Okay. Yeah. You ain't got no, no well, yeah. earrings, no jewelry, no. No, I got jewelry, but it's not turquoise. I said stones, no nothing. Like, no, it's all beaded. Oh, it's all beaded. Yeah. Are there any traditions that you celebrate? We have like this lottery where we get to shoot a bison. I got to do it this year and I learned a lot about how the bison and our culture and our tribe are our relatives because bison, like, when they're another person they're herd is hurt or it's sick, they will always go around and like protect them and take care of them. Uh -huh. So that's kind of translates into like my family where it's like if someone's sick, if someone's hurting, then we're always going to be surrounding them because a like, community and family is really important. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you did it. I did it. What was the highlight? Like just learning about everyone's different cultures and backgrounds. As much as I pride myself in being able to like see indigenous people, at the end of the day, like we are everywhere and it's important to ask about that and acknowledge like where people are coming from, what land you're on. As all these people just randomly met me today, they know I'm locked in for life. You know, <laughs> you see me on the street, say what's up because native people got to stick together. We did this thing. Highly recommend these two games. Keep it 100 and Truth or Drink. I played Keep it 100 a bunch of times and it made me learn stuff about myself that I didn't know. I played Truth or Drink with my parents and after they left, I collapsed to my knees and I cried. It was a real thing that happened. <laughs>